All right, go ahead and fire away questions for these guys. Uh, Walter, talking about the final play. It was nerve wracking. Man, I am. <clears throat> it was a lot of stuff going through my head. Like, oh, I hope he, I hope he, <laughs> I don't know. I, it's, it was just, it was just spirit, spirit, spirit of moment right there. Like, practicing on it all summer, all practice, all camp. And that fade ball finally pay, paid off because, you know, the fade ball, 50 50 chance right there. And uh, I just beat him on the coverage and made the touchdown. Um, I mean, we worked on the fade ball camping. Um, I knew it was going to be open because they've been playing him one man all the whole night and not a whole lot of safety help. So I was just going to try to get it over his shoulder for a good play. It seemed like Walter did it all for you guys tonight, just making those, those big catches, the returns. Um, is he kind of a bacon saver for you guys? Uh, yeah, he did a great job today, but there's still 11 people out there at the end of the day. So, I mean, Everybody gets credit for it, I mean, but he was the playmaker tonight. Talk about the trick plays, how much time goes into preparing to, to run that one play. All right, I mean, we, we work on it every practice, so, I mean, we throw a little things in when we see that defensive guy, but we've had that, and I, I guarantee they've been wanting to use it, and it worked for us that time. Harris, what was it like in the trenches? Um, they didn't really bring a whole lot of pressure early, but um, we uh, they were – in coverage, they dropped seven in coverage um, almost the whole game. So uh, they were only sent; they were only bringing four, and we saw it was, it was pretty easy to pick up there on that last play. They uh, they had an X splits inside, and we picked it up pretty well. So um, I thought O line did a pretty good job picking up all their blitzes. Defense getting a little frustrated with you guys in the first half. So could y'all stay out there on the <laughs> Yeah, they probably were. We, they were eating that clock up all game, but uh, we were we were eager to get out there. But um, we ended up finishing the job. So. Harris, talk about how hard it was to run the ball against Missouri State. I think it's half is only 17 yards rushing. Uh, they, I mean, they uh, they move around a lot, and uh, it's kind of hard. We we just kind of have to pick up whoever comes to us, and um, they did a really good job. Their defense did with uh, playing their gaps and stuff like that, but uh, they did a really good job. So, Walter, you've been a part of this game now for a, a few years. It seems like every time you play Missouri State, it comes down to a final play, a final <coughs> possession. Yeah, Missouri State, they're, they're a real good team, offense, defense, and special teams. And, like, that's what I really – uh I like uh, this game was uh, returning the punch. Like, after the first one, it kind of threw me off, and then I just couldn't get in the rhythm. But uh, Missouri State, they had a real good team, and uh, they played all the way to the end, played hard. Playing these guys three times out of the last four years and having such close games and kind of monumental games, um, are they kind of a rival now at all? Oh uh, yes, yes, ma'am. Like after that, after the first time we met up with them, when Casey was here, when we put up the basketball score points, like I think they start taking it personal each and every time. So it's it's, it's going from now on, like it's, it's going to be a rivalry all the way into our grandkids playing. So. <laughs> There's a lot of going on. Really? Is this something a game that you guys would like to see continue a series? Yeah, I mean they're uh, they're from another uh, FCS conference. They're good. They're a good team. Their conference is more run oriented, so probably a challenge for them to come play us. But I mean they're a good team. Good good challenge. So. Okay, when you decided to come to Murray State, do you have any clue you'd be throwing five touchdowns in one game? Uh no, I was hoping so though. But no, I never thought that that would happen. It was just a a good day. Uh, we had a scheme for their secondary, and we we executed pretty well. And having him helps a lot. I guess. Oh yeah, no doubt. <laughs>
they did a couple things that uh you know kind of exploited us. We didn't line up right a couple times, but they're they always been a good running team. The last couple of years we played them, and they did a good job. You know, sealing blocks off, we cutting us out there in the open field. A couple of times we weren't ready for that, but I think we did a good job on that last drive of just kind of taking away that game plan. What does this game tell you all about your defense? We've been kind of waiting for this game to see how you guys have changed with the new scheme. Um, I know it's kind of early, you haven't watched film, but you know, where are you guys at and where do you see yourself going forward? Um, we're we're a good D when we play how we need to play. Uh, we just can't you know can't can't play to their play to the level. We our scheme, you know what we do, it matches up good to what they call, and we just got to go out there and execute. And a couple times we did, and a couple times we didn't. And we just know how good we can be if we put it all together. Travis, can you talk about your game again? Uh yes, sir. Well, first of all, you know, like I say, I want to give glory to God. You know, and all week, you know, the defense at work has practiced hard every you know every play and we we approached the play like it was our last so you know I knew it was going to be a good night because I knew we was prepared and we was ready. It seemed like a couple times you would be in the backfield but then somebody else would be running and a lot of misdirection for you guys. Yeah I, you know it was just me you know my mistakes but you know I, I, I feel like I did my job of getting back there but I still did feel a little bit disappointed. <laughs> The guy doesn't have the ball, though. You still feel like you got to hit it. Yeah, I got to. You know, as, as long as I get my job done for my team, I'm okay. And Brandon, with as many times as you guys have played him and just with this scoring, is it almost a rivalry now? I would say so. You know, the four years I've been here, we played them three out of four. So, I mean, they're a good team from a different conference, and uh, it's, it's a good little rivalry. The game's always been close, so us kind of like about that close games. You just got to come down to that last drive. How does that prepare you? Playing a close game like this, up the first two. It just lets you know what you need to do. Uh, last year, going down that last drive, we knew that we not had to make a play, and I always kind of wanted to come down on D, just because we know that we cannot go out there and make that play. You don't have to stress the offense like that. What did you guys on the defense think of Walter's performance tonight? <laughs> that man can play. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Are you glad he's on your team? Yeah, I'm glad he is. <laughs>